The goal of the programme really is to generate competent doctors at the end of the day and we want our doctors really to be safe in their clinical practice so that ultimately they will be able to diagnose our patients and treat them appropriately. We also really want them to be responsible to the community and have a great respect for the actual community surrounding them. They're exposed to the clinical sciences literally from day one. They have clinical skills training from the first week of the programme and they also have contact with patients right from the first semester of the programme. So they're faced with problems on a daily basis, true clinical problems. Basically we'll say Mr McCarthy comes in with some pains in his hands so essentially the students identify the, the areas of ignorance that they have in relation to the hands. So what do we know about the hands? We don't know any anatomy. We don't know the muscles of the hands, the bones of the hands. So they generate that as an objective and then they have to go away and learn about the actual muscles and joints in the hands. So other objectives might be well we know nothing about the actual joint diseases of the hand, so we'll go away and learn about that. So they learn the basic sciences and the management of joint diseases, the pharmacology of the drugs, etc. They learn that in context of an actual clinical scenario or a clinical patient. This programme is delivered through the process of what we call problem-based learning. So the students work in small groups. They learn the, the knowledge or the knowledge content of the programme in small groups and they actually um, generate their learning outcomes or learning objectives within the group and they actually learn from each other um, in relation to the topics or the outcomes that they've generated. And then they have formal uh, structured skills teaching, clinical and communication skills teaching, where they learn to actually communicate with patients. They learn to uh, perform physical exam, uh, examinations of patients, for example, they examine the heart, examine the abdomen, and they also learn to perform procedures such as putting in intravenous lines, catheterizing patients, etc. In the later years, in the kind of clinical years of the training, the students um, not only have hospital-based clinical training, but they spend a large proportion of time in the community setting in primary care or general practice, as it's called. Well, essentially, our students will graduate with an MBBS degree so essentially they will be a fully fledged doctor um, once they've qualified as a doctor they are awarded temporary registration with the Medical Council um, and they work for a year as we we'll say a, an apprentice again um, under the supervision of a consultant in the hospital setting or a GP in the GP setting then they have the opportunity of coming back and doing a PhD degree again or alternatively a doctorate in medicine and MD degree which is kind of uh, one of the higher degrees in medicine. A lot of the programme is based on self-directed learning so the students generate outcomes through the problem-based learning process and they are then expected to go away and you know, learn the knowledge in relation to those outcomes and then come back and feed back that information to their peers within the small group setting. So a lot of self-direction, motivation, really a thirst for learning actually is one way of expressing it and um, being honest if, you're, you know, if you want to be spoon-fed this is not the programme for you.